I'm here tonight for Art After Stroke. It's a special event that we're doing to celebrate all of the great art that people who've had a stroke are still making. They're doing music, painting, photography, comedy, and it's all to tell everybody out there that there is life and there is hope after stroke. Art is one of the, the major ways of dealing with drug recovery. And whether you express yourself in, in painting or photography or sculpture, it's all part of the creative spirit. This is my brother Manny Ravello. Basically, he's had to relearn how to live again and how to enjoy life again and he's doing it through his art. He loves to show off. He always have, even before he had the stroke, and even more so now. After my stroke, I have nothing to do, so I, I painted, you know, so just to, to pass time. Nobody seems to uh, know us, you know, so we have to go out and let them know. It offers hope for people, you know, when they've had a stroke, um, that, you know, you can carry on, and I think it's really important to do your passion and con continue as best you can with what you've got. When the wind blows in the valley. Oftentimes, stroke patients tell us that when they finish with their hospital care, it feels like they fall off a cliff. There's nothing in the community to support them, so the Stroke Recovery Association, BC, is a phenomenal organization for providing that continuity and providing the supports in the community and really helping people move forward with their life after they've had a stroke. Art After Stroke is such an amazing event because it really profiles people themselves who've had a stroke and they're really here to prove and to show that there is life after stroke and I think it's so wonderful to celebrate the lives of these people and to prove that it's not about dwelling on what can often be a traumatic time, it's about getting through that and then showing that, hey, look, we can celebrate life and continue to follow your passion. So I think it's just a wonderful way to really celebrate the culture and the passions of people um, even after they go through such a tough time as that. Not giving up, I think it's really important uh, just to keep carrying on all the time.